Y'all, I was gonna wait to make this video until I got my physical certification in hand, but I was like, man, that's gonna take too long. I wanna go ahead and put this video out and let everybody know because everybody in the, been in the comments asking me, have you passed, have you passed? Listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Welcome back to another video, y'all. Y'all read that title right. I finally passed my CompTIA Security Plus certification first off i want to thank god i want to thank god for blessing me to be able to pass this certification y'all having to juggle work and trying to study and you got a whole lot of other stuff going on too it can be challenging at times but god i give it all to him because if it wasn't for him i don't know where i'll be at but i also want to thank y'all too y'all did y'all big one in the comments on that last video. I appreciate each and every one of y'all who left a good comment, a good encouraging comment. I appreciate y'all because that just, that just made me feel good, y'all. <laughs> but I'm so excited, I'm so happy, and I'm so thankful all together that I was able to get this done and be able to share with y'all and let y'all in on this journey with me so i'm just gonna let y'all know what's going on what happened and we're gonna get into the video so real quick i just want to talk about why i wanted to get the CompTIA security plus certification before any other certification so as you all may know that a lot of people preach that the CompTIA security plus certification is like the golden ticket when trying to get into GovTech. So that was an interest of mine, of me wanting to be in GovTech. So that's the real reason why I wanted to get the CompTIA Security Plus certification first before any other cert. Let's get into what the test was like taking it again from failing it to now passing it. Taking the test this time it seemed pretty challenging. Like once I opened up the test, I got hit with four performance-based questions. I think the last time uh, I just did three performance-based questions, but this time they hit me with four. And those performance-based questions, they was kind of challenging. I know I had I flagged all of them in the beginning and saved them for the very end. And I just got straight to the questions. The questions this time, they they were pretty good length. Like they wasn't too long and it was easy to read. And they was kind of similar to the questions that I was practicing using. And I was using the Jason Dion practice test. So that was good. I say this time going around, I was even more confident than the last time. I know because I came more prepared. I made sure that I went over all the objectives. I went over everything, y'all. I'm telling you, I went from one to five, everything. And what really helped me was me using Ian Neal's CompTIA Security Plus book. And what makes his book good is with the objectives you looking at the objectives and you have his book it goes in order and that right there that helped me a lot i was able to write down everything write down everything i'm telling you i wrote down everything at the end of each chapter of his book they are short like short little descriptions short little terms were you able to remember them? It's easy to remember. So I use that and I also use Andrew Remidal. I think that's how you pronounce his name, but his course is on Udemy. That's what I use. And I was able to point out keywords on my test. Like it was nothing. Like, yeah, I was going through these questions. I was going through them. I was kind of nervous at first because I thought I was going too fast. But once I reached the end of my test, I got back to my performance-based questions. I was able to remember a lot of stuff. 
um, that I learned from, I know I remember seeing a lot of authentication, things like that. And also another thing you need to remember, I just remembered this. You need to remember the OSI model. I saw some of that on my test. And a way I was able to remember the OSI model layers is please do not throw sausage pizza away. And that is physical data link network transport sessions, presentation and applications. I was able to remember the different layers just like that. That helped me a lot. I hope y'all use that because that's good. I think ChatGPT helped me with that too. They helped me come up with that. But yeah, y'all, I feel like I prepped so good to the point where I was finding keywords and I would select the answer just like that. And I wasn't wasting no time on anything I didn't know. Like if, it, if I read the question, and I didn't know none, nothing about the answer, I would flag that thing so fast and keep going. I wasn't wasting no time. I was not wasting no time. So let's talk about this objective sheet. This is exactly what I used to study the second time around. So once I started reading Ian Neal's Security Plus book, I took my objective sheet and just went along with with it and the way i was doing it was once i looked like at the title and everything that's in bold and looked under what was in bold i would kind of sort of base it on that like the threat actors okay once i see threat actors i know that i'm gonna see um, hacktivists and nation state and things like that and everything that I have highlighted is mostly all the stuff that I needed to keep going back over to remember and I know once I got to the email security I know the acronym is DMARC and D-K-I-M I kept forgetting what these acronyms meant so what i did was i was like in my head i said see here's email security in my head i said okay email security is domain based message authentication reporting and conformance and domain keys identify mail is email security so i kept forgetting what those acronyms meant and I just labeled it as email security. So once I told myself, okay, this means email security. That's how I was able to remember what that acronym meant if I was just to see the acronym on the test. But yeah, I think the objectives list is very important. You should make sure you go through it. And yeah, y'all let me know how it go. Y'all, don't waste no time on no questions you don't know. You just go to the next one. At the end of my test, y'all, before I submitted everything, I was on the last question. I stopped and I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, prayer work. Prayer work. Use it. God help me on that test, y'all. When I tell you I submitted that test, I closed my eyes. I said, <sighs> I read you pass. That thing said you pass, y'all. I said, y'all, I'm in the room. I'm pacing like this. I'm pacing. I'm pacing. I was so happy. I was so happy because it just made me think back to all the work that I put in. All the work that I put in, I was finally able to see the fruits of my label. So anybody out there that's finna get ready to take their test, y'all, if you failed it before, 
don't let that L stop you. That L is just a lesson. That L is just you learning. You was able to get feedback from that fail. Listen, keep going and lock in because you got this. You got this. Come on now. You got it. Man, I'm just so thankful. If you made it this far in the video, I got something for y'all. If you use this discount code, you'll be able to get a discount off. I don't know if it still work by the time you see this. I hope it does. If it still works though, make sure you drop it work in the comments. In the comments, drop it work. But I know a lot of people want to know what's next? What's next? What's next is now we finna start getting on a hunt to finding a tech job. We finna land us a job. We landed us a job before the end of this year. Y'all put a time limit on it, y'all. I, I said it. It's out there now. We finna land a job before the end of this year. <sighs> y'all, it's out there. And then we're gonna continue working on more certifications and also we're gonna continue building more projects. So that's what's next. That's what's next. I really do appreciate y'all being on this journey with me. And I really like that we building a community of like-minded people. Let's keep growing. We can probably start some up. But y'all leave a comment. What are you in your journey? Where are you in the tech space? What's some things you look forward to obtaining? And are you are you working towards getting your CompTIA Security Plus certification? But other than that, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next video. <clears throat>